hey guys okay i'm getting ready to head to bed soon but i just wanted to upload this video quickly um i did not mean to be uploading so many videos today but god is having his way through the videos and long as he's being glorified i'm okay so i just thank god for that but i just want to quickly um just say two things um do not suffer in silence do not suffer in silence. I know sometimes people go through seasons, we all do, but you know, you go through seasons where you feel like you're suffering in silence. Just know that you can cry out to God. Don't allow pride to get in the way. Don't allow your own ego to get in the way. Sometimes we are in situations where only God can help us and he will. And um, actually for this person, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was going to do this, but let me just get my Bible. I'm exhausted guys I'm very tired but I'm gonna be obedient and release these videos as he leads um, from Matthew 11 28 through 30 um, will be for you Matthew 11 28 through 30 it's talking about you know give God your your um like how you feel you know um, it says um, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest excuse me take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so god doesn't want you suffering in silence um you may be in a sensitive situation you may be would feel like a complicated situation but i guarantee you if you give it to god and you obey him and you take heed and you just keep your faith even when your emotions or situations or circumstances are screaming something else he will lead and guide you he will deliver you he will work it out for you just surrender your hands and heart to him and hold on to that matthew 11 28 through 30 and i'm praying for you whoever that's for you know whatever it may be it may be a relationship it may be something spiritual it may be something financial it may be something in your physical world you know whatever the circumstances situation is not too hard for god you know we got to really look at you know things for what they really are and what God is saying in it, you know, you know, so just, I don't know who that's for, but give it to God. It's not too late. It's not too far gone. You know, God shows us signs and things for a reason. He tell us things. He speak to us the way that he do for a reason. He allow you to hear and see things the way that you do, especially for a reason. You know, he speak to you in certain ways for a reason. And the last thing that I would like to say is um this was coming to me the other day you know well for me personally it's been coming to me for a while but it was coming to me the other day to share with you guys i was going to release it in the morning but i don't want to forget and hold on and forget and you know that could have been a word for somebody even if it's one person still you know that is a person that mattered to god you know so and that mattered to me because it mattered to him but are you being wasteful or are you being wise you know we did do a video talking about being wasteful and being wise but the way that god has given it to me in this context is are you being wasteful with your emotions with your energy are you being wasteful with your spirit man are you being wasteful with things in the spiritual realm are you being wasteful with your finances are you being wasteful with your relationships are you being wasteful with your gifts and talents are you being wasteful with your purpose are you being wasteful with your opportunities are you being wasteful with your time are you being wasteful with your dreams you know you can look at it financially spiritually physically so wise all areas of your life relationally the physical world you know, are you being wasteful with exercising? Are you being wasteful with how you spend your money? Are you being wasteful with how you treat people? You know, are you being wise financially? Are you being wise in your relationships? Are you being wise in your gifts and talents? Are you being wise in your emotions? Are you being wise in your soul? Are you being wise in, you know, your relationships? Are you being wise? Are you being wise with the opportunities that God is giving you? Are you being wise with the gifts that he has put inside of you? Are you using wisdom? Are you being wise? In the scripture that I would like to read um, to you is um, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. And then with this, I will rest and close this video. So um, a time for everything. So there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. 
a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. So I just pray that you all be blessed by that. I also want to read Ecclesiastes 3.14. <clears throat> I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that man will revere him. And, you know, we did read Ecclesiastes 3 fully in its full context before. Um, but I just pray y'all was encouraged. Please ponder upon these things that the Lord has been speaking to me to give to you guys. This YouTube channel and audience. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow. I'm going to just upload as God leads. But I love you guys sincerely. Have a great night and God bless.